Janome. Oh, hello everyone. Oh yes, it's time for another Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. And what will the machine be? Ooh, it's always a mystery. And speaking of mystery, ooh, who is that behind that adorable little hat with Janome fabric? Well, of course, it's me. Yes, this terrible overhead lighting, but it's me, Michael Smith. Yes, thank you everyone for joining me today. It's wonderful to be back with you for another Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. And yes, you'll see by the fabulous, ooh, Iris cotton quilting thread and iris polyester embroidery thread, the Madeira stabilizers behind me, and that overhead lighting. Yes, it means that I am back at the Janome Sewing and Learning Center to present another Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour. And what will the machine be? Well, we'll flip around to find out. And on Janome's Magical Machine Mystery Tour, what will the machine be? Ooh, ta-da! It is the fabulous Janome Sewist 780DC. Now, I'm so surprised I have not done this machine in Magical Machine Mystery Tour. I've done the Sewist 721. I've done the Sewist 740. But this is the 780. Look at all these beautiful push-button controls. All these convenient features here like stop start, reverse, lock stitch, needle up and down, scissor button, speed control. Oh, there is so much to this machine. The nice big uh, bright LCD screen and again all these convenient push button controls. We can adjust things like, oh, making our stitch length or stitch width. This one is stitch width. We've got all the way up to seven millimeters so we're seven millimeter wide on our zigzag needle plate there and now we can always tell when the default is at 3.5 half of seven is 3.5 you know whereas nine millimeter machines our default stitch width is 4.5 so that's you know, half of nine is 4.5. So very easy to tell just by looking uh, five millimeters, you know, uh, the default stitch width would be uh, 2.5. So it's always half. So we can adjust width this way. This is length. Oh yes, we can go up to five millimeters or down. Now the nice thing is when we, you hear that little chime, whenever we do something the machine doesn't want us to do, again, it does some thinking for us, so it really helps us. Uh, so that's wonderful. Uh, the LCD screen here says that, oh, for regular uh, stitch number one here, our regular straight stitch, we're gonna use the A foot. But then if we simply, oh, wanna do a zigzag, then we just hit, ooh, this is that multi-step or uh, stretch zigzag, is stitch number eight. And again, it tells us to use that A foot. Or here, when we get into the overcast or over edge stitches, it will tell us, again, that in this case, stitch number nine to use the C foot. So again, it's great to have a machine to do some thinking for us. So you could imagine with 780, there must be 80 stitches. Well, here we've got this beautiful big uh, touch uh, button control here. And what I love about it in particular, look how big these buttons are. You can really feel where they are. So if you're teaching someone to sew, especially a little person with their little fingers, they would love this. It's very tactile. Uh, but as well, imagine maybe a little older and you've got some carpal tunnel, you've got some arthritis. They too will appreciate the bigger buttons. That really is good. They're nice and big graphics as well, so you know exactly which stitch to select. Now there's only room though, because these are so big, there's only room for 20. Can you see in this cute little side, ooh, cute little side cards, because you know we've got the so a 780 here, I've got it in the universal side table with a beautiful insert. So yes, there's an insert for practically every machine that will fit into this universal side table. Uh, but yes, we can still access this a thing. See these cute little from stitch number 21 to 50, boom, there is our extra stitch chart of our stitches. And then, oh, if I want to select stitch number 30, for example, I come across here to our LCD screen and then I can go up 
to 30. Like, it's amazing. Boom. There we are. Stitch number 30. And again, it's telling me to use the A foot in this case if I wanted to adjust my width. My needle's already at 7, which means it's furthest over to the left. If I wanted to bring it over to the right more, though, again, we can make that adjustment. The stitch length is at 2.5. Sometimes, oh, I can't go any longer. The machine is telling me, nope, you can't go any longer, but you could go shorter. So isn't that cool? Now, if we want stitches uh, 51 to 80, down here, this lower tab, it says 51 to 80, and boom, there they are. Isn't that adorable? And here on this universal side table, there is still room for these stitch charts to come all the way out so nothing is obstructed. We can totally see whatever stitch we want and then they just retract back. So it's really a cool setup. So yes, we've got the fabulous aero cabinets. Janome Canada is a distributor of those big aero cabinets. But if you don't have the space or the budget for those bigger cabinets, what about this universal side table? Uh, it's a metal construction. It's a wood top. It's got like a melamine, um, you know, hard plastic finish. So then it's easy to clean. And then again, there's an insert practically for every machine. Uh, this one, I believe, is the U insert that will fit the 780. But there's also, ooh, this is the H insert that fits the HD9 because I also have that big uh, HD9 straight stitch machine. I also put it in this universal side table. It really works out well. So this uh, SOAS 780, oh, look, it comes. Now, maybe if you want to have your machine on top of a table, you don't want to recess it down. The machine does come with this fabulous extension table here. So you could clip that on and then even adjust the little feet. So that's adorable. Now this is the extension table that comes on the machine itself. You would have to remove this in order to use this extension table. And then again, you remove this in order to use the insert on the universal side table. But when you get your machines, regardless of which one they are, Often there's some, ooh, uh, you know, secret compartments here and things like your automatic buttonhole foot and sometimes your even feed or AccuFeed flex foot is going to be hiding in this little accessory compartment. So make sure you double check that when you first get your machine. So that's also included in your machine. Now, speaking of uh, checking accessories and everything, look at all the goodies that your machine comes with here. And you can double check that everything is there by checking out the fabulous instruction manual that comes with your machine here. So you can read always the first couple of pages of every manual tells you exactly what is uh, with the machine. So then you can uh, see that yes, everything is included. So this is included as is an instructional DVD to give you little tips and tricks on how to use the machine. Now, if your computer no longer has a CD drive built into it, you can get rather inexpensively a uh, external CD reader that you will plug into your computer and you can read this CD. Now, little by little, Janome is dispensing of these and everything is going over to YouTube. So yes, everything is going digitally little by little, but for right now, yes, this uh, SOA 780 has this instructional DVD to review and even a little page, again, to adjust your table. They give you a little tip here. A lot of people don't know that those little rubbery grips on the bottom of this extension table here, those are actually adjustable. So they give you a little tip here on how to do that. So I love how Janome really tries to think of everything. Very important is your warranty card. Now, because this is Canada, it's in English and in French, and they include the Janome America phone number and the Janome Canada phone number. So yes, when people say, how do I get a hold of Janome Canada? Our number is right here in your warranty card. So make sure you register your machine and then again, make a note of that uh, phone number.
Now this universal side table, another reason why I love it, not only it fits the machine well and it's very sturdy, this little cubby here, great to keep your manual, all the things with your machine. Ooh, a secret little drawer here. You can pull out all your little goodies can go in here. Everything stays in place. The universal side table as well. We often get uh, questions, what are these little sticky magnets here for? These come included, there's a whole bunch of them that come included with your machine and this is what's going to help you level the machine in the bed. There is a big piece of uh, wood, basically, a wood shelf that your machine sits on and these go under that shelf or they could go under the legs of your machine, but typically I put them under the shelf and just to make sure then when you put the insert in that the machine bed is flush. So that's what these little sticky magnets are for, is to help level that wooden shelf that the machine sits on so that uh, bed is nice and flush. So other things that, oh, come included with your machine, this is our fabulous foot pedal. Ooh, comes included in many Janome machines, and I love demonstrating it. Yes, you know, this is the so comfortable non slip foot pedal pad. And look at that angle. That foot pedal is not going anywhere. No matter what flooring you have, no matter what foot pedal you have, that non-slip foot pedal pad is worth its weight in gold. You're not going to be chasing your foot pedal around. It is wonderful. I have it on every machine I have. And you know that's many. <laughs> but, you know, also as an upgrade, ooh, we can use this big extra large white foot pedal that, you know, our top of the line, our high end machines come with. So, this big extra wide foot pedal is an upgrade that will work with your 780 DC. So, that's, uh, you know, maybe a great gift. Someone has everything. So let's go, oh yes, let's go with what's included with the machine. There's always so much. So our secondary spool pin, of course, so we can use a twin needle or we don't have to unwind our needle thread to wind the bobbin. Oh, things like the stitch ripper and the uh, little brush, of course, to clean out our bobbin area. Extra pack of needles, great. You know, we can always get more needles from our Janome dealer. The little screwdriver to take off your uh, presser foot holder and then to remove your needle plate, so that's great. Uh, there are four of the Janome J bobbins, the clear bobbins, but they do have that rubberized compound in them that helps quiet your bobbin and helps with that bird's nest or backlash that can sometimes happen when you're sewing at high speeds and all of a sudden you stop. Then by having that rubberized compound in, that is going to prevent that. Now even our fabulous ooh, 100th anniversary Janome bobbins in the pink, uh, these two have the little J in the center of the post here and again they've got that rubberized compound so they're wonderful to use in all your, pretty much all your Janome machines. There are some specific machines that have specific bobbins but for most of your lay-in rotary hook here, lay in rotary hook, they will all use the same Janome J bobbin. So that is fabulous. Again, another great gift, those Janome 100th anniversary bobbins. Again, Janome is only 100 years for a little bit longer and then, you know, once we're gone, we're gone. Uh, the two big uh, spool caps, the, there's two of these medium spool caps. I'm using one currently. Using the correct spool cap will definitely make a big difference in your threading so and your stitching. So it's great that Janome includes more. Now you can go to Janome HQ YouTube and actually I've got a video called uh, Threading Tips and Tricks. And I've got the A to Z with Janome series to show you how to use ooh, the G foot, the blind hem foot that I also love using for edge stitching, for example. Oh, the E foot, the zipper foot, yes, on Janome HQ YouTube, then I show you how to use that. Uh, things like this, uh, typically we call this the quilting guide bar, but did you know, you know, you can use this with an even feed foot or AccuFeed flex foot, but did you know you can also put this in your regular foot holder, and now you could use this guide, oh, if I want a nice deep, um, 
oh, an inch and a half hem, let's say, then I can move this to the uh, patented needle plate here. We've got several markings on the needle plate. We can move this to an inch and a half and then you can do your nice deep hem that way. Or you're a garment sewer and you're gonna go over to the 5 8 inch line on your needle plate and it coincides with your easy set bobbin cover here. That again, this is a nice guide for that 5 8 of an inch. Uh, or if you're home deck, usually a lot of those are half inch, so uh, seam allowances are half inch. So again, move that over. You've got lots of flexibility with this quilting guide bar. And again, or multiple rows of decorative stitching. There's so many purposes for this bar. It is so simple and yet so effective. So that's included in your machine. Now also, oh, one of my most favorite feet, the F foot with the little groove on the underside to allow for those decorative stitches to pass through. So that's included. Now also included two very special feet. The C foot here with that little brush is often called the overcast foot. And that little brush, uh, the needle actually goes into it when it's doing like basically a zigzag that goes over to help finish the raw edge of your fabric. So here, using this, I believe was stitch number nine that told me to use the C foot. So these little prongs on the underside of the foot, they're just like the little stitch fingers are for your serger. So they help you finish the raw edge of that fabric. And again, very neatly, very professionally, no raveling are gonna occur. So that is the C foot. And that's often included in many seven millimeter machines, such as your Sewist 780, but also included is the M foot. Now this is typically included in nine millimeter machines, but you have it included here with your seven millimeter Sewist 780. Now it has those same two stitch fingers, but instead of that little brush, it's got a little wire here, another wire and a little guide here on the foot. And that is to allow you to overcast, so or over edge. Janome uses those two terms, overcast and over edge interchangeably. But what we're going to do here is do you see there is my uh, my over edge stitch. It's going over the edge. So it's doing a stitch like that, a stitch here to the left, and then it's going over the edge. And you see there is stitching right along the edge of that fabric there. So this is just like your serger, except that we're not trimming the fabric. <laughs> so that stitch in particular, many machines have it. And it is so good, again, that you can finish your uh, edges of your seams very professionally. That is stitch number 11. So it does a stitch to the left, it does that zigzag stitch over the edge, and then it does that stitch along the edge of the fabric. So when you try it out on your samples, you may think, oh, at first it doesn't look so good depending on your fabric, lighter weight fabric in particular. This is some of the Kimberly Imo gorgeous cotton quilting fabric. And sometimes though, even still with cotton fabric, it's a very beautiful cotton, so it's not very heavy and stiff. Uh, so there, and it's like, oh, the uh, foot did an okay job, but still, well, that doesn't look maybe as pretty as we would like it to. So how about using, here's a tip, how about using water-soluble stabilizer? Look at that stitching. Oh, that looks so much better. So sometimes the edges of your fabric, just the edge, needs a little bit extra beef, a little bit extra support. Use your scraps of water-soluble stabilizer, then you can just rip this off, or then it eventually just you know melts away with water, and then when you fold up your hem and do whatever hemming stitch here, it'll be beautiful, like no one will ever know. Now, the water-soluble stabilizer I love using, ooh, again, comes from Madeira, from the Avalon collection. There's many different uh, Avalon stabilizers. I love the Ultra because it's nice and beefy and strong, as it says. Uh, this one is more fine. So again, perfectly fine to use. And again, for a variety of fabrics, save these little scraps. They, nothing goes to waste. <laughs> you know how I love that Madeira stabilizer.
So that is your E or your C foot and your M foot. There is so many wonderful things that you can do here with your Soist uh, 780. Now, even our regular uh, straight stitch, let me go back to that. And our, if we're just doing a regular straight stitch using our regular A foot that comes included in the machine, it has this very special little black button on the back of the foot. And there was a wonderful Genome Life blog by uh, JP Alfano, who's from Genome America, but he writes the Genome Jumpstart blog the first Monday of every month. And JP was talking about this little black button. Now, normally this is on nine millimeter machines, but again, you have it here on your fabulous seven millimeter 780. Now, the great thing with this uh, black button, you know, as you're sewing along and you've got that sick, uh, thick <laughs> center seam, uh, particularly think of hemming pants of all kinds, but especially jeans, and you get, when you fold up your hem here twice, and you get that big, thick layer, then how do you get over that hump? So when we're sewing along here, as we're getting up to that hump, we can you know, drop our foot. And as we're going up to the hump, you know, that our foot starts climbing like that. And that's what's going to cause us to break a needle or then we get those weird funky stitches. Uh, they're really small or we end up uh, getting skip stitches. Well, by then raising the foot so it's level and then engaging that black button, we can keep the presser foot level over that hump. Now this is where it's very hard with me, ooh, with a camera in front of me, <laughs> lowering my foot so I'm not in the way. Now this black button will eventually, you can just uh, release it once you get going. Now also going over these thicker seams, I like lengthening my stitch. That will also help. So as you get over that hump, I can re uh, release that black button. I no longer need to hold it. It will eventually release on its own. There, it just released. And away I go. It is so simple. Now we can use our scissor button up here. Again, we've got the scissor button, needle up, down, lock, stitch, reverse, stop, start. So good, lots of those beautiful features. Now there's where I started my stitching. Oh, I wasn't quite lined up there <laughs> because I had started and stopped. But again, there is my line of stitching. Again, over that hump, it looks very good. So yes, it's a little hard to demo when you got a camera in front of you, but that's a wonderful uh, feature to use of your machine with that little black button to keep, to keep your presser foot level. Now, very quickly, oh, time is my enemy as always. I'm going to switch over to the F foot again. How quick is that? And I'm going to do some decorative stitches. Look at all these beautiful decorative stitches here. It is so fun when you get a new machine, just stitch out a little sample. And again, we're going to be using some scraps of stabilizer from the Madeira Stabilizer Starter Pack. Uh, then this is the um, ooh, Cotton Soft. It actually has cotton fibers in it. So I love using the stabilizer, again, on the back of our decorative. Like, look at how beautiful the back looks. Like, gorgeous. <laughs> so again, using the correct stabilizer will definitely help. But again, how beautiful the machine stitches. So when we want to select some of these decorative stitches in particular look at these this is such a fun feature to have and again typically reserved for our higher end machines but we have it here on the sewist 780 this elongation function this is the same stitch as this and this way down here it's this big leafy teardrop this is the same stitch as that leaf can you believe that and how we achieved that this fabulous feature is e for elongation so i can go down here to and again your manual will explain exactly what elongation is and which stitches are compatible basically you just trial and error the machine will tell you if the stitch is compatible or not but typically it's these satin stitches satin stitches that are very close together 
are the elongation stitches. So stitch number 17, for example, and it's telling me use the F foot, which I have on my machine. The stitch width is seven, so nice and wide. Uh, stitch length is 0.4, but again, maybe we can make that a little longer, a little shorter, a tighter satin stitch. It's whatever you choose. I'll just set it back to default. So now I'm gonna stitch my regular stitch and you will watch before your eyes how amazing this is. So we're just going to do the regular stitch and every time we hit the lock button the stitch is going to finish and then stop. Now we also have a very cool feature here. The M scissors means memory scissors. So I can click this button and look, the scissor icon appears. So that means every time I hit this lock stitch, my scissor button is going to engage and cut my threads. So isn't that cool? In this case, I don't want that to happen, but we could do that if we wanted to. So many things we can do with this 780 machine. Right now, I'm going to hit this E button for it says length one. So how about we just keep hitting it, oh, length two, length three, length four, length five. So let's try, oh, length three. And then again, I'm gonna hit that lock button right away. Do you see? Totally hands off stitching as well. It stitches so evenly. I don't even really need to guide the fabric that much. So I, because I've hit that lock button, the entire sequence of stitches, the whole stitch pattern will stitch. Now I'm going to go back to this elongation button and go, we were at three. Now let's go all the way up to five and see what that looks like. Ooh. And again, I'm going to hit that lock button right away. So that way I know it's going to stitch its sequence and then it's going to stop automatically. If I have that memory scissor button selected, that means then my threads are going to cut. And there you heard them. Look at that. So isn't that cool? That is elongation. Can you believe that is the same stitch as that stitch? But it's just this has been elongated. Now what can you do with elongation? This is such a fun little exercise to do. Don't they look like dragonflies? And all it is is elongation playing around with the smaller head and the larger tail and the larger wings. It is so fun. You can see here on the side how I did. There are again many elongation stitches. Here they are smaller and then they get longer. <laughs> and then there's like a wave a little scallop, but then as you elongate it, it gets longer. So isn't that fun? There's, look at all those. It's so fun to play with your elongation stitches. And this in particular, don't you think it looks gorgeous in that multicolor thread? So yes, have fun with your Sewist 780 using this fabulous Madeira Katana thread, multicolor. So what great effects you can have with your decorative stitches. And again, those elongation stitches, they're so fun. You know, everyone here at the Genome Sewing and Learning Center was uh, remarking today that it's uh, funny to see me sew on a smaller machine because so much lately I have been sewing on the Continental M17, big top of the line machine. But I was saying, oh, it's like, oh, a, a holiday. I love sewing on any Janome machine, but it's so fun to sew on something new, something different. And it's got a lot of those, again, easy push button controls, things like elongation. Oh, we have on the Continental M17 and we have them here on the Sewist 780. So, uh, you know, we still have that same patented needle plate as the Continental M17. We have it here. The same easy set bobbin. We have it here on the Sewist 780. So there's a lot of wonderful uh, features that are shared in many Janome machines. Uh, another thing that makes sewing always easy for everything. Our fabulous Janome Pin Pal. Keep all your scissors like your mini duckling scissors and everything. Your seam rippers, <laughs> screwdrivers handy. Uh, now the 
So with 780 comes with this little multi-tool screwdriver. Again, great to remove your needle plate and your foot holder here. But if you need a little more oomph, uh, depending on, again, dexterity as well, that we've got the, the little screwdrivers or, you know, we also have the big screwdrivers like this. So you can double check with your Janome dealer to get, uh, again, maybe if you, dexterity-wise, if this is a little too small, then, again, you can get a, a larger screwdriver driver to make it easier so and I uh, get questions all the time can I use a magnetic pin cushion like the Janome pin pal against my computerized machine here and the answer is yes these computer components now are so small and they're so well protected in the machine it's totally fine to have your pin cushion uh, next to your machine you're not going to hold it up against your machine uh, but even then all those computer components they're well uh, protected so it's fine to leave this off to the side here of like your universal side table for example so, yes, as usual, uh, that in a big whirlwind, or I wanted to show as well, you know, Janome Canada has two tow bags, so double check with your Janome dealer, uh, this 22-inch Tudo bag would be the perfect size that you can take your Soist 780 off to class, off to a retreat, or if you're heading down south to sew, then you can uh, travel in style. So, as always, oh my goodness, where did the time go? I, I have truly enjoyed sewing on the 780. It is such a cute little machine. Again, I love those, uh, anything with a touch button, I love. And especially, again, very tactile, so really, really good to use. So there are so many features that you can use. And then, of course, because it is a low shank, 7 millimeter machine, there's a lot of extra presser feet and extra attachments that you can use to get the most from your general me sewist 780 and again with um it's already october so think ahead to holidays so how about those janome uh, 100th anniversary bobbins oh how about like that extra large uh, foot pedal or a tudo bag or some extra presser feet janome pin pal there's so many extra goodies you could get for the sewist in your life or maybe as a treat for yourself so double check with your janome canada dealer so thank you everyone for joining me and have a fabulous day. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.